Hello everyone, welcome to day 122 of Project 365. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that I've sort of recently thought about. And I don't know why it came across my mind, but it did. Uh, and that would be euthanasia. For those of you who don't know, euthanasia is the assistance for uh, the assistance of someone who's attempting to commit suicide. Uh, there is only one state, I believe, that has this at a somewhat legal basis, and that would be Washington. Uh, not District of Columbia, but actual Washington, the state. And really, I'm for Washington's opinion, really. Um, well, I mean, they aren't Okay, I should restate that. Uh, I can support Washington because they share a similar view of mine. Now, I'm sure at this point, a lot of people are going to be thinking, you think it's okay for someone to essentially kill someone else? That isn't true. Okay, so my conditions are this, and I think they're f pretty fair. Um, I don't think it should be illegal if someone assists someone in suicide, as long as there's a few specific conditions. And, unfortunately, these conditions are hard to prove, but in an ideal situation, this is what would need to be proven. Firstly, it would need to be proven that the individual assisting in the suicide had no influence on the individual attempting the suicide. So, basically what I mean by that is person B wasn't like, oh, you should commit suicide to person A, and then person A was like, you know what, you're right. Nothing like that can occur. Secondly, uh, person B, or... Uh, the person who's attempting to commit suicide must be of clear mind, body, and conscience in their decision. Uh, usually people commit suicide over depression or something like that, and that I find unacceptable in any means. However, if the person simply feels like they should no longer be living on this earth, then, quite frankly... I think that the person who's assisting them shouldn't be held legally responsible. Because they, in their own clear conscience, wanted to do it, however, they might not have had the ability to do it. Uh, this can be said for a lot of older people. Uh, I know when I'm 80, I want someone to pull the plug on me. If I can't control my own bodily functions, if I can't walk on my own without some mechanical apparatus or wheels or something, then pull the plug, really, because life isn't worth living if you're really having to take 80 medications a day just to make sure you stay alive. That's too expensive, and it's too expensive to those who care about you. Instead, I would say pull the plug on me, end it then. But that's just my view. Uh, some people want to prolong their life as long as possible. Um, I mean, do I want to die young? No. But at the same time, when I'm 80 and, I, and if I can't control my own body, then end it there. Um, but that's besides the point. So really, I don't think it's fair that we, if, if those two conditions are met, I don't think that the person should be convicted or even charged with manslaughter or murder. And in order to make this process more legally sound, um, something that I would say to be required if one is wanting to go through with euthanasia is to create a contract. Uh, to create a contract that says that I, so-and-so, of clear body, soul, and mind, uh, hereby declare that I am attempting suicide with the assistance of blah blah blah, uh, with the reasoning of give their reasons and I mean like I know that seems really barbaric and desensitized but considering what it is I think that if the person wants to kill themselves or if they want to die and they feel that it's their time they should be able to go through with it and if they can't do it on their own the person who helps them who's just simply helping this person go through with their wish, go through with their wishes. Uh, 
I personally don't think they should be charged with it. Uh, so yes, that is my take on it. Uh, my question for you guys today is, how do you guys feel about euthanasia? Uh, do you think that it should be legal? Or do you think that it should be properly regulated? Uh, my argument with a lot of things is if it's properly regulated, then it really shouldn't be a problem, hypothetically. Uh, of course, you have to deal with the realistics of life, but nonetheless, I think with proper regulation, most things would work. Uh, but yes, that is it for today, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> have a great day.